here at Fugati Cars we thought it was high time that we brought you some sort of video project so to start with we decided to go with the first letter of the alphabet and we've got an Alfa Romeo 156 1.8 T Spark here it's a 2002 with about 77,000 miles on the clock it was bought nice and cheap uh, and the intention is to do the bits and bobs that it requires uh, and get it back up to its original condition um, and give you a bit of information about how we do that. So let's have a quick walk round about the Alpha 156 and see what we've got to do. First up, we've got a stone chip and some rust just here and a discoloured badge here which should be fairly easy to replace. Slightly more complex is this parking scratch here as you can see. Um, that might cut back and be able to be um, blown over, it might need a bit more work. The main body of the car itself, very clean and tidy, very few parking dents or scratches to it, so that's quite pleasant. Um, one issue that we do have on both the front doors is the fact that the lock sticks in, as you can see here, and needs to be pulled out with the key. That shouldn't be too difficult to resolve. Fuel filter doesn't latch properly. It's difficult to see in this light. There are some scrapes and scratches on the boot here. Next up, we have another classic parking ding sitting in this corner here. That's definitely right down to the primer, so we'll need stripped back and blown in. The rest of the body looks fairly clean. Again, you can see the issue with the door there. Um, so, let's have a quick look at the inside of it and see what we're letting ourselves in for. First up, we have the boot. Not the world's largest hatch. No dead bodies though, so that's beneficial. Um, as you can see, most of the trim panels are either damaged or fitted incorrectly. And we've got a nice load of grot in the back here, along with a ski hatch for our imaginary chalet in Chamonix. In the back, using the magic hidden door handles, a nice design touch, we have nice cream leather. It's in very good condition, with very few rips or tears. The only real issue it has is an awful lot of grime on it. it looks as if there's maybe been a couple of children in this car um, for an extended period of time, uh, and they've managed to get plenty of dirt and grime everywhere. As you can see, the door card's taken quite a kicking, lots of scrapes and bits of dirt on it. Driver's compartment is much the same. Again, filthy floor, fairly dirty seat. However, thankfully the bolster isn't heavily damaged, which reinforces the idea that this vehicle is quite low mileage. A um, couple of trim issues round about the interior to be aware of. Firstly, we're missing the driver's um, window switch here, which does still work if you press the actual pads, but not too keen on that idea, so we'll replace that. Next up, we've got the rev counter. Now, as you can see, it's missing its surround, and there's a fairly good reason for that. Um, this small light check module here does occasionally short out and will drain the battery, utilising the rear lights. Um, this has happened on this car, so the rev counter has been disconnected to stop it draining the battery. Switching it isn't particularly difficult. There's sort of three bolts to remove the the uh, the rev counter and replace it with a new one again not too expensive either given that it's an italian car i'm not too fussed about the fact that this um, fuse panel is missing we'll leave that until we've traced all the little electrical faults we're likely to find uh, and then replace it with a second hand panel one thing to note in terms of the design of the vehicle, I really like these three binnacles here. It's reminiscent of like a, a Group B rally car, however this particular model doesn't go quite as well or sound quite as good. That's because it's fitted with the four cylinder T-Spark rather than the legendary Alfa Romeo V6. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing as it has significantly better fuel consumption um, and it's actually not a bad looking engine in its own right. 
just get this bonnet open here. There we go. Right, handy that, it's got stays, so no need to fanny about with some sort of pole. Here we go, the T-Spark. It's a 1.8 16 valve. It's got eight spark plugs, as the name suggests, two per cylinder. Uh, the engine itself seems nice, clean, tidy, operates well, revs freely, it clutches fine, there are no bangs or clunks from the drivetrain, although we do have a couple of bangs and clunks from the front suspension, suggesting it might benefit from some lower wishbones. Main things to do in here are a full oil service, change the air filter and give this a coolant service because it's not looking particularly pretty. So there we have it, the Alpha 156. Not the worst thing I've bought by a long chalk, nor the best. However, with a small amount of work, it should be absolutely spot on. So tune in for part two shortly. Thanks, bye.